Hello, this is a test. Testing. Hello, this is uh, June 15th. We're going to talk about some weather. There's been some unusual weather from flooding um, down the Mississippi, the basin. And we're looking at some interesting weather phenomenon over here. So we see uh, Orville Dam on the 12th, May 12th. This is Orville Dam right here. And what I wanted to bring out is that the the reservoir is not full right there. Um, this is panning also the atmosphere. You can see the how far it is to go. So the rains. This is not the snow melt. This is the spring rains coming in on May. And the reservoir is completely full. On the 19th, you could see that just the ordinary rains uh, had completely filled the the reservoir up to the top. Okay. On uh, May twentieth. We have, um, coming up, let's see. Yes. Here we go, May 20th. What we see is the cloud cover is coming in. There's a storm system. Uh, and the wind is picking up. But look at how Orville Lake is filling up. And uh, this is the, the west coast of the United States. Uh, So at this point, um, there's a lot of politics going on and people aren't focusing on the weather, the environment, and this kind of thing. So the carbon dioxide level has reached uh, new grounds at this point where it hasn't been for a long time. And carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Um, the atmosphere of our planet Earth has oxygen in it that we breathe. And if there's more carbon dioxide, that means there's going to be less oxygen. The plants uh, absorb the carbon dioxide. Here we have the 21st. Um, this is a rainstorm in Yosemite. I captured on the Yosemite webcam. Um, 
clouds coming in. So in other words, these are spring rains. This is not coming in from the snow melt. So here we go. Uh, I managed to get this Orville Lake in a rainstorm. So all of this rain is filling up the reservoir right now. So how is the carbon dioxide, rising carbon dioxide level, playing into this? Besides the greenhouse effect? Um, the pH of a freshwater system. So there's a spring, fall, summer and winter temperature inversion that happens at different levels of a freshwater system. Um, and so this lake is in the Sierra. Uh, so this is the foothills. The Yosemite webcam is the high Sierra mountain range of California and Nevada border, right? So this lake, besides the physicality of the varying water levels and, and the people parking their boats there, um, is undergoing changes in the biogeochemical cycles, including the pH, because of the rising carbon dioxide levels. Um, so, when this water goes down the valley and into the bay, San Francisco Bay, the pH is not what it was prior to the carbon dioxide level. So this will change the pH of the San Francisco Bay. So here's May 26th. So I'm capturing these because I'm expecting something, right? So what we're, what's going to happen when this, the, the spring melt or the, you know, the, the summer melts? So at this time, even today, the, the, the snow is still packed in the Sierra, so it hasn't melted. This reservoir is full to the over-brimming point just in the spring rains. We haven't gotten into the snow melt yet, right? So it's full as possible, and the pH is changing because of the carbon dioxide level. It's going into the bay. It's probably cha changing the ecosystem, the freshwater uh, system, all the way to the salt marshes. So here we go, May 30th. Um, let's see, it, it, it looks, it, also what I'm noticing is a haze in the valley, when you look out and see this, uh, Orville Dam here. So it's full, I'm sure, in one of these, um, captures, I was seeing the mist of them, uh, letting out the overflow through the new spillway. A few years ago, the spillway, it, it was so full, it overdone the spillway. And they had to rebuild the spillway. I think they did it in the nick of time. It was uh, Governor Brown was a captain of industry. He built it, had it all built. Um, if, if that water would come through the dam and go through the valley, it would just wipe out everything in its path. Everything in the valley would be inundated but there's enough destruction with the pH levels so if you recall the pH level is the um, inverse log of the, the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration so the more acidic something is the lower the number 
Here we have June 3rd. And it looks perfect for water skiing there in the Oroville. Um, look at that. It's full as possible right up to the face of the dam. Or it, depending on if you're looking from below, it's the toe of the dam. If you're looking from above where we are, it's the lake, you know. It only forms the lake because of the dam. So we're... And from our vantage point, it's, it's the Lake Orville. Um, yeah, I'm worried about that. I wonder if that's uh, ultraviolet um, inundation that's bleaching the uh, camera view. But uh, with the carbon dioxide as it is, it, there is a issue with the uh, ultraviolet index, right? Um, so the clouds went away. Um, we had like a break on the third. And the, the pH, so by the time it gets to the mixing, there's a certain zone where the fresh water goes in to mix with the salt water. So the history of California, if the natives and even the early explorers reported that the whole valley was an inland sea. So that's why those hand-drawn maps uh, very greatly is because that the whole California Valley naturally floods. Uh, I have a feeling we were not the first to dam up all of this. Um, parts of Yosemite look like a a project, some sort of uh, water project. Um, here we have seventh. The um, June seventh we're coming in. It's so the wind is picking up right there. So this direction, the directions of these winds go from this west coast and go in and feed the systems of the extreme weather in the uh, the Midwest basin. Uh, the Sierra stops some of the precipitation on snowfall uh, going from west to east. Uh, there has been a change in some of those wind cycles. Uh, it's, it's actually going closer to the surface. Um, so you can almost see the uh, ultraviolet index uh, by eyeball here it, uh, because of the rising carbon dioxide level. It looks bleached out. It looks so. Here we have uh, June fifteenth. This today. So this is the Yosemite Falls, and this water is actually a couple of days ago that was running like a faucet like a shower and th this has actually gone down so that's telling me this is the break between spring showers bring may flowers and the the thaw the snow melt right this is just still from the last spring showers so this is Orville Lake today. It's completely full. I mean, you couldn't even fit an extra. So the, I'm sure they're releasing water through the outlets for the generators to turn the generators. <coughs> and also, they're releasing water through the, the brand new spillway. Um, releasing water AF because... That snow melt is going to bring a lot of water down the valley. That's usually a floodplain. 
and into the bay, which is a natural saltwater marsh. You needed that saltwater marsh for a carbon sink, um, and the fish there uh, help with the carbon sink to um, get the excess carbon dioxide. Um, so fish, uh, the more fish you have, the more carb, uh, the more, um, less carbon dioxide you have. So overfishing does not help either. Uh, so when the, those people who frown upon the, um, raising of fish and releasing them into the, into the waters there. So fish help the carbon dioxide cycle. So here we go to the weather right now, weather.com, and it's cloudy. Um, so those storms bypassed us altogether, and there was a uh, water spout there filmed in uh, Florida. And Floridians are like, whatever, dude, water spout, Sharknado, dude. So if you're in a swing pool and it turns into a tornado, you should probably get out of the pool. Just saying, you know. So that's our um, scientific weather analysis from May to June. June 15th, I think it's going to start with the snow melting. 